Hey guys, it's Han. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming a tack haul. So I bought everything from a few different places. Um, I got some of it online, some of it in store at Horseland. Um, for anyone unfamiliar with Horseland, it's basically like the main tax store chain in Australia. And I also bought some from Equitana when I went there back in November. If any of you are interested, I also did a vlog from Equitana. It was really fun. If you haven't been before, you should definitely go. If you're an equestrian and you love horses, trust me, you will love going to this event. So I highly recommend it. So the first thing that I bought, which is a really exciting purchase because I've wanted to buy this for quite a while now. I bought a Mickle and Bridle, guys. Have a look at the packaging. It's um unique. I can't say that I've ever gotten a bridle in this kind of packaging before and if you look on the back it's got a little blurb about um some show jumping rider that uses this bridle and underneath that a little background to Mr. Mickleham the I guess the inventor of this bridle. I'll just show you the details there. So it's really just like a super plain bridle. For anyone not familiar with this style of bridle it's basically um, supposed to be like an anatomical style bridle. So the way it's designed, it um, avoids the most sensitive parts of the horse's face and I will show you um, some footage of it on flip so that you can see sort of what I mean. What you also get are these little bit clips. I don't know if you guys can see, just attach this. You get like four of them. I don't know what this is. Um, but basically they are the tongue protector system, but really they're just like a couple of plastic clips. So basically if your horse is particularly sensitive in the mouth, you can put them on to your bit and attach them to the bridle and it's supposed to like steady the bit in the horse's mouth. The only issue with that is be aware that you can't use the bit clips at a competition, they're not FEI approved, so I don't know. I don't know that there would be a point to training in them if you can't use them when you go out and compete. I tried to ride at home in what I would compete with. So I bought mine from Bitbank Australia. Um, I paid $240 for this. I am really annoyed with myself though because I didn't go and check prices. Um, and I found it later at horseware.com.au for $200. So it's like $40 cheaper if you go to the actual Horseware website. So if any of you are thinking about buying one, just make sure you shop around because I didn't and I ended up paying more, which is really annoying. And it's too late to return now, but anyways, that's what I get for not researching, hey? But it is convertible, and by that I mean there are three ways that this bridle can be used. And number one is obviously just as a regular bridle. Number two is that it comes with this little D-ring. I don't know if it's going to focus so you guys can see. Um, so it's got this little D-ring on the noseband so you can use it as like a lunging capison. And lastly, there is a couple of ways to convert it into a bitless bridle. I've never ridden Fletch in a bitless bridle and I used to ride all my other horses in halters and stuff like that. Because Fletch can be a little bit tense sometimes, I haven't been game to ride him in a halter but hopefully this is a bitless bridle should give me a bit more control so I will definitely try it out. I mean overall the quality seems pretty good. Um, I will say the leather is a little bit stiff um, but I might just be spoiled because I've got the flexible fit bridles um, and the leather on them is just super super soft so maybe I'm just used to that now but I think I'll get a better idea once I oil it and put it on flesh. The one last thing that I will say about this bridle is that it doesn't come with reins. I checked around in a few online stores and none of them sell them with reins which is fine for me because I already have reins and I'll tend to keep the ones that I really, really like. But if you're someone who's buying a bridle for the first time or you wanted to get new reins as well, it's going to end up being quite an expensive exercise by the time you go out and buy them separately. So, um, <laughs> my cat just fell off the lounge. <laughs> so, um, I've seen some really good reviews online as well, especially people who have young horses or TVs. So, fingers crossed, I'll let you guys know how it goes. The next things I bought were two pool coats. I bought these from Horseland when they were having their Boxing Day sale and I got a 6.3 for our horse, Belle. If you guys haven't met her, she's basically um, an old racehorse that we have that has an injury and we can't ride her unfortunately, but she still gets a rub. And that rub only cost me $29, it's so cheap. For my number one pony, Fletch, he gets a cool coat as well, but he gets a 6.6 and I bought him the combo. I tend to prefer combos over buying the neck rug and the rug separately, just because I feel like these fit Fletch better. This one only cost me $39, it's so cheap, it's so good. Um, Fletch is a bit of a rug wrecker. Um, no matter what rugs I buy him, he seems to manage to put holes all over them. So I tend to go for the cheap ones now because no matter what quality I get, he seems to be able to destroy anything. The other really good thing about these rugs is that they're a really light material and they're perfect for summer, especially Australian summers. It's so hot here at the moment. Fletch in particular gets extremely sweaty if I have anything too heavy on him. So these are perfect for summer days. Um, I don't like to generally leave him naked because he gets really irritated by flies and God, we have so many of them this year. And what tends to happen if he gets too many flies on him, he'll go and start to walk or trot around and that makes him sweat up. So it's much easier to just rub him up and protect him from the sun and the flies 
um, and he doesn't sweat under these either. I also bought these beautiful riding tights online. Oh, scope out the ankles. I love the little grey detail. I bought these from pimpmypony.com.au. I'm not sure if these are their actual product because on the back it actually says Bear Equestrian and then has a completely different logo on the butt there from the actual website. So maybe they're just carrying this brand and Bear Equestrian, I've never heard of them before if that is the case. No, do you know what? Bear Equestrian must be a brand because I just looked at the tag. Ugh, come on, honey, you got this. And if that's gonna focus so that has the details there so bear equestrian must be a brand that they're carrying i guess either way these tights are absolutely beautiful the fabric is so light and soft it's really nice so it is a full seat of silicon dots so you can see there they go all the way on your bum down to your calves which is really good and i'm glad that they chose to do like the dot pattern over like the thicker strips because i find sometimes those big strips are too grippy and like it's almost like your pants are getting stuck to the saddle and you can feel yourself moving but it's almost like your pants aren't moving with you does that make sense i feel like it makes sense in my head but yeah basically i much prefer like a lighter sort of like a dot pattern or something like that there were a few color options i went with the black and gray because they're my favorite colors i know they're not technically colors but you know what i mean so it's also got this really cute mesh detailing with the grey behind it on the front and in one of those they've also inbuilt a pocket which is awesome. It was also big enough that it fits my iPhone 6 Plus which is awesome because my carrots tights won't fit my phone in and it's just so frustrating. The other thing I really liked about these is they've got like, what would you call it, like strategic seams. So I'll show you guys some footage of me wearing them and as you can see the seam line actually runs um, down the front of the leg and behind the leg so that it avoids those areas that you'll have in contact with the saddle Which is awesome. It means no rubbing um, and much more comfortable breeches When I bought these they did have a little description saying that these were moisture wicking and they were supposed to be nice and cool for like hot summer days Which is exactly what I was after. I will say though that they didn't have any fabric branding on them and what I mean by that is like you know how when you buy like carrots breeches they'll generally have like the cool max logo on them so that means it's like a more premium fabric that's like purpose built for like wicking away sweat or like for athletes or for a particular sport it seems just like regular nylon to me which is sweat wicking but maybe not as like high performance as like a cool max fabric and these did cost a hundred dollars which is up there it's not as expensive as carrots but it is more expensive than my performer ride tights that I also have and I think I only pay like $60 for their tights and I can't really see a huge difference in quality between the $60 pair I've already got and this $99 pair so it'll be interesting to see how they wear anyways. I'm such a convert to riding tights now. I just find them so much nicer to ride in than my breeches and I'm like one of those people that always wants to wear their gym gear and I just love that equestrian brands are now coming out with things like this. More like sporty designs I guess because it just means that you can like wear these pants to gym and then you can go straight to your horse and ride and you don't even have to change your outfit which is what I am all about. So the rest of the stuff that I've got now is all from Equitana. Um, the first thing is this Precision Equine Protein Bar for Horses. I've never heard of this brand before and I've never heard of protein bars for horses before but my friend gave it to me. Um, basically it comes with three little Precision Equine protein bars inside. They're quite big. I don't know if it's really gonna like come across on the screen, but like they're really thick. Like, and they come literally like a protein bar, like a human protein bar. So it basically said on the website that you will give this to your horse 15 to 20 minutes after exercise and it's supposed to help with their recovery, but also with muscle building and repair. It does also say that if you've got a horse under 14 hands, you would just give it half. And if you've got a horse as big as Fletch, like me, so like 14 hands plus, then you'll be giving them the whole bar. I've never tried anything like this before. I don't know if you guys have. I would be really interested to know if anyone who's watching this has tried these before. So it'll be really interesting to see if this helps Fletch with his recovery at all, or if it helps him build any extra muscle. I'm not sure that it will, especially considering I've only got three bars, but why not go for free, give it a go. I did attempt to give Fletch one of these bars after our ride that afternoon and it was kind of a fail. He didn't really want to eat it when he tried, but it was like too hard and too thick. Even when I broke it up into pieces, he just couldn't really bite into it properly and he just kept spitting them out. And you can kind of see like he's, he's interested in eating them. Like obviously they taste good, but I think maybe the texture is just 
too hard. Alright, the next thing I bought was from Flexible Fit, one of my favorite companies. Um, you guys might have heard me before talk about how I bought my bridles from there and I just absolutely love their leather products. They're really beautiful. So at Equitana, I bought one of their belts, which I've wanted to buy for ages and I kept putting it off. Um, and then I went to Equitana and they had these hanging up at the front of their trade stall and they had a discounted to $25 sign and their regular price is $39.95 and all the belts hanging there were extra small which is my size and it was just meant to be so I had to grab one. So it's just got this really simple silver buckle which is perfect and then I went for the black leather because I've got black long boots so it was just nice and matchy match. It also has these really cute little horse motifs if my camera would like to focus on that please. Thank you. It's got these little horse motifs on there and then it has of course a doubling in the back and then another little horse motif as you get to the other side. I just have a look at this bling. Mm, so pretty. So I ended up going for this one because um, I felt like I could use it at comps and for everyday riding. Some of the belts were really over the top like super bling. Like I know this is bright but I swear guys they were brighter ones than this. Um, and because I do, as I said, like to wear riding tights, I prefer something a little bit more subdued. It's a little bit, not much. This still might be like a lot of bling for some people. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It fits really well. I'm so glad I got this because I've just found it so hard to find like a nice belt that's actually the right size for me. I'm not sure if you guys find this, but because all my breeches are like high waisted, to find a belt that's like actually more of a waist belt than like for your hips, I guess is like hard. It's hard to find like an extra small that's actually tight enough that it's doing anything. It's not just for show. So guys, I have saved the best for last. I have been saving up for these for quite a while because they are very expensive. Um, I bought these at Equitana. I don't know if any of you guys have already heard of the brand PS of Sweden. Their products are just divine. They have such a cool Instagram page. If you haven't checked it out, please promise me that you will because their photos are just beautiful and their product is stunning. And if you're there, you can also follow hand.equestrian if you're interested, little shameless plug. So basically, PS for Sweden, I have been following them on Instagram for such a long time. I've just really admired their products. I wanted them to come to Australia so badly and there wasn't any stockists and I wasn't prepared to pay the like $80 international shipping fee to get them here. But then I saw the Equitana program and I saw that they were going to be there and I just knew I had to go and I was going to have to buy something. <laughs> the best part about all this is since I've been to Equitana, there is now an Australian stockist. And then the other day I was going into Horseland and I had to go and buy some worming paste and I went out and had a little stuff of the saddle blankets because I always like to have a look. And staring right back at me was PS of Sweden. So now Horseland, I think, are stocking them. Like, I don't know if it's just the one store that's close to me or if it's all stores, but I'm so excited. So now I'm going to be able to lay by them at my local horse land. I am definitely going to be buying more soon. So getting back to what I actually bought. Now, keep in mind, I went on the fourth day to Equitana. So unfortunately, a lot of stuff was sold out and I probably would have bought the champagne color if it had been available, but it wasn't sadly. But I'm not that sad because instead I got this beautiful navy ear bonnet. Weirdly, they call these fly veils. But that This is not a fly veil. Right? Right? Surely that's not just an Australian thing because this is not for flies. It's an ear bonnet. That's what everyone calls it. I am sure of it. Let's have a look. How stunning is it? Oh my god. So I went with navy because that's like my competition colours and I love the matchy matchy and it's got this beautiful like silver and lighter blue piping on it as well. It's also got the Pierce of Sweden brand embroidered on the front there. I'm hoping this is going to come across on the camera, but also the earpieces are made out of like a wetsuit material, which is really cool. It's really nice and thick, so I think it should be really good for like noise reduction when we go out and compete. Fletch can be a little bit funny with like loud noises, so I tend to put an ear bonnet on him when we go out. And it's also got these little Velcro D-rings behind the ears so that you can fasten it nice and tightly to your bridle. And of course, the ear bonnet would not be complete if I didn't also... Blow 
in my budget completely and buy the matching saddle blanket. This thing is just absolutely stunning. I ended up going with the Preppy Alice white jumping pad. So I am planning to use this at show jumping comps and also during my show jumping rounds at horse trial events as well. The reason I wanted to get a show jumping pad was because I've currently been using the same pad for both show jumping and cross country, which is not ideal, especially because Fletch is a really sweaty horse and I hate having to put a wet saddle blanket back on him when it hasn't had time to dry, which sometimes happens at events. Let me just show you guys a close up of the details. Just have a look at the stunning piping. So I went with the the navy and then the blue which like I said they're my competition colors so that's going to match back with that ear bonnet and I'll also just show you guys a close up of the quilting just look at that it is absolutely stunning and even like just the little touches like look at the metal clip with their branding on it oh just admire that saddle blanket it's so so beautiful so apart from the material of these saddle blankets I also really love the cut I think it's really elegant so if you guys have a look at the cut of this it's just absolutely stunning I especially like the square cut edge on the back of it the other thing I really like about these saddle blankets is that they are actually made of cotton and then underneath they have that separate moisture wicking material to go on your horse's back so that is supposed to keep your horse nice and comfortable and dry and once again, like I've said, Fletch is a very hot, sweaty horse. So basically I don't buy saddle blankets anymore if they don't have that sort of material underneath them because he just gets too hot and I want him to be comfortable. And he better be comfortable in this because I paid $169 for this. I did get a discount at Equitana. I think it came to $149. Don't quote me on that though. And so that is them together. I will put them on Fletch so that you guys can see the full set on the horse. I'm always scared to put it on Fletch because like I just don't want to get it dirty. It did say that you can machine wash them but there is no way I'm putting this in a washing machine like hand wash all the way. These products are so nice. The quality is really high on the manufacturing. They are stunning, but the price is very reflective of the quality that they are. That is why I bought a competition set, and like I said, if I'm going to buy any more, that's why I'm going to put them on lay-by, because I can't just go throwing around that money every day, unfortunately, as much as I would like to. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tag haul. I had a lot of fun making it, and I certainly had a lot of fun buying all these products. If you guys are enjoying watching Fletcher and I, then please be sure to subscribe. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Bye, guys.